back for another episode of Classified Underground. This is going to be the 15th episode and we're trying something new. Uh, this is basically just weird stuff that I found on eBay. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one I found is a photo. It says it's a real photo. But you can be the judge of dinosaur hunters. The picture says it's out of Florida, but you be the judge on it. it the price on it's two fifty plus four dollars shipping. And the second thing we got of all things is dogs going to the bathroom calendar. They're fifteen dollars. Yeah, and they're in the year two thousand eighteen. So you can get one now and have it. Somebody needs to get some and send some to the IRS. Uh, the third one I got is a 3D skull art someone made. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, it's only $150, which is a pretty good price on some art like this. This is one of a kind. It says it's 10 inches tall and 9 inches long. So that's a fairly decent size and it's it says it's real heavy it's made out of steel and this one's just kind of twisted it's a basically someone made a listing and said that they would get a tattoo that says Bush did 9-11 and the price he put on there I guess to him $1200 and he said he would get the tattoo on his leg so no one's really going to see it so it's basically just free money uh, the next one we got heart shaped box no a chip this is a potato chip it's the most expensive thing on the list too at four thousand dollars this goes back to the food thing people pay way too much money for this stuff I, we've been looking at the Cheetos in past episodes and those go for a lot of money. You can look on there and some of them have sold for thousands of dollars and I want to get into that more probably just a whole episode of nothing but Cheetos. So we'll probably do that in the future. Uh, this next one, sorry if you like Justin Bieber. This is a zombie doll of Justin Bieber somebody made. $16 out of Harvard, Illinois. I, I guess it's a real doll of him. I can't tell. I'm, I'm sure it probably is. Uh, but comment and see what you think about it. I'm sure it probably made a lot of people mad. But you can buy it on eBay for $16. The next thing we got is a Devil Harvest poster, $16. It's a movie poster from 1942, but it says it's about marijuana too. So I don't know nothing about the movie. Maybe you can comment and let me know about the movie. If it was like, if, my thought is probably like a B movie. It probably wasn't anything mainstream. Uh, the last one we got since Halloween's coming up, we got a haunted doll, which you can usually find a bunch on eBay, and it's hard to find. I like to find a good one that kind of looks creepy, because a lot of them don't really look creepy on the website, but this one's $500 out of New York. And they've typed up a thing. I want to read it to you. I haven't read this yet, so we'll be listening to it for the first time. 
it says, this is what I know. My husband and I own a small shop in western New York. One day an older lady came in and said her sister had passed away about a month ago and she had this doll. She said she couldn't keep it because she believed it was haunted and strange things were going on in her house and the doll needed a new home. I told her I would love to have her. A few days later, my husband called to tell me that the lady that brought the doll to the shop and said her name is Addie and hoped her feelings about the doll were all in her imagination. Right out of the gate, my husband did not like the doll. He said she was creepy. I fell in love with her on sight. The last picture in this listing is where Addie resided for about a month in our kitchen. Uh, it says, as soon as she was brought home, strange things started happening. I kept it to myself a couple of days. I started seeing things out of the corner of my eye, hearing noises, knocks and bangs, or Pomeranian became my constant shadow, so the dog was even scared of it and wouldn't, I, the dog kept following the woman around. Uh, the shadows and the noises, the knocking and banging were all the same. When we both figured this out, it became more frequent. One night at 3.30 in the morning, we are sound asleep and hear a tremendous crash. I thought someone was breaking into the house. My husband jumps out of bed and in the kitchen across where Addie was with her lifetime collectibles and two sconces with glass shades all on the ground smashed and broken. We cleaned up the big mess and let the dog out. My husband disappeared for a moment and returned with the dog. He said she needs to go. Then he put her in the barn. That was about a week ago. All has been quiet since. So $500 of this creepy dog can be yours. That's all we got time for today. I'll try to find some more stuff and see how many more of these I can put out. Please subscribe. Bye.